Hi, this is Denise Estrada, and you're watching True School Sports. All right, thank you. It's personal between me, and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. Okay. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire proudly presents something the boxing game's been missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, y'all can save the day. Anybody who really is really up on their boxing knows that in Japan, every year, December the 31st is a massive day in Japan. The Japan always goes out with a bang for boxing. They always have big fights on December 31st for boxing. Think about just two years ago when you had the massive Japanese fight between Kazuto Aoka and Kosa Tanaka. You know, massive fight. And, and, and there's been a whole laundry list of fights like that that have taken place on this date. And you can add another one to the list as it has been reported by a number of news outlets, but the one I've got in front of me is Boxing Scene. So shout out to all the fine folks at Boxing Scene. To report about Boxing Scene, that Kazuto Aoka, Japan's first four division world champion ever, he's going to be putting his WBO belt on the line against none other than El Professor himself, Joshua Franco. Now, this is a very intriguing fight because these are two of the uh, fighters I feel with, 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 with still a lot to prove in this division. You know, on from the Ioka side of things, he's a fighter that, you know, just hasn't gotten that massive signature fight yet um, against like the Ch Ch Chalatitos, the Giles, people like that. But you look at him and you, and you feel like he's one of the best fighters in this weight class. And sometimes you watch him and you think he might be the best fighter in this weight class. So um, he's, got, he's got a lot to prove here. And uh, Joshua Franco will be a good name to get on his resume if he can get it. Now, Joshua Franco, this is really a bigger fight for him. Because, you know, he's had an interesting career. He's, he's fought two trilogies already with, with Jason Maloney and Oscar Negrete. He was supposed to fight Guy of Estrada, but the purse bid was low. So then Guy pulled out the fight. And, you know, now he's fighting Charlotte in the third fight. So he, he didn't get that signature fight. So, so both these guys have had big names in the division elude them. And now they're fighting each other. So there's that. And then on top of that, now you have the, the, the other caveat to this is that Junta Nakatani, the... The former, the, the now former uh, WBO uh, light, fly, former flyweight champion of the world, he's moving up, and more than likely, likely the WBO will probably make him mandatory because the winner of this fight will have to fight a mandatory challenge within 180 days of this fight. So, the, you know, let's just say if Ioka beats Franco, then you're looking at a potential Kazuto Ioka Junta Nakatani fight, another big chapter in Japanese boxing that um, uh, Kazuto Ioka might be part of. You know. Because uh, he already had the fight with Tanaka. Now maybe the Nakatani fight is, is, is a, a possibility, a, a very real possibility if he wants this fight. Now, uh, as far as this fight goes, you know, Ioka, he's a, he's a really good fighter. You know, he's, he, he's, been, he's been getting better over, over the last few years under the guidance of Ishmael Salas, uh, a crafty counterpuncher, very patient, very methodical, just a very, very technically sound fighter. And probably one of the smarter fighters in boxing. You know, he doesn't really get the credit he deserves for his boxing IQ. He doesn't get the credit he deserves point blank period just as being one of the best fighters in the sport. Because he's done some massive things that, have, that, that will put him in the history books forever. I mean, being the first ever four division champion in the history of Japanese boxing is a monumental accomplishment. Because for my money, the Japanese are a top three nation in the sport of boxing, in, in the whole history of the sport. No doubt about it. Uh, Franco... You know, he, he's always, like, with the rise of Bam Rodriguez, he's been kind of getting overlooked, you know, with, with Bam's rise. And this is his chance to really stick his flag in the ground and, and show the world who he is. Show the world that, hey, you know, I'm Joshua Franco, um, and, and, there's, and there's more to this family than, than just Bam Rodriguez, you know. Um, he's had some fights in his career where, like, he, he, he's, he hasn't really, like, looked the most impressive but he's found ways to win against like Negrete and, and Maloney and these kind of guys. But Ioka is, in my humble opinion, a, 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 it's, a, it's a, a good step up in class from Maloney. It's a massive step up in class from Negrete. And he's going to have to box at another level to win this fight. No ifs, ands, and buts about it. And being that he's going to Japan to do this. He's going to Japan. He's going to the Lions. And he's fighting him on December 31st. Anybody who knows anything about boxing knows that December 31st in Japan is a very... You know, it's a, it's a hard, it, it's a, it's 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 a very big deal. And if you're a foreign fighter going to fight in Japan on December thirty first, you know, it's even harder to win just because the Japanese fighters seem to fight really well on on, on that day. Uh, that's why you got, you gotta look at kind of like what Roman Gonzalez has done and be impressed by because some of his best performances have been on this day. 
you know, against good fighters, you know. So, uh, anyway, I've been rambling, but it's a unification fight. So, the winner of this fight is going to be the, the unified WBA and WBO champion of the weight class. And, um, yeah, they're looking at, and then the, maybe, the, maybe the winner of this fights Nakatani and then, you know, who knows? Who knows? Who knows what happens after? But it's a good fight. It's a good fight. I, I, I see it as, you know, an aggressive counter puncher in in Ioka against um, a very intelligent, you know, pressure fighter in Franco. You know, Franco is very good at closing the gap and fighting this fight. He can counter punch sometimes, but he's more of a he leans more towards that of being the pressure fighter. So uh, should be a good fight. Looking forward to it. I'm not gonna this. I'm not gonna ever underestimate because of Ioka because the last time he fought on this date. Two years ago, when he fought Kosa Tanaka, I did that, and 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 he had Kosa Tanaka doing cartwheels around the ring. So, you know, looking very forward to seeing Kazuta Aoka in action against Joshua Franco. Mark your calendars, and let, let me know what y'all think. Who y'all who y'all favoring and why? Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure y'all take the time to subscribe. And like I say in every single one of these videos, y'all can y'all can love me or y'all can hate me. But I'm just a kid from Daniel. So until next time. Take care, guys. Thank you for watching another video on True School Sports, the home of boxing. If you made it this far, do me a favor and do yourself a damn favor. Hit that subscribe button and surely you will not be disappointed. You know, True School Sports bringing you the latest and greatest, the untouchable, you know, boxing content, interviews, news videos, breakdowns, live fight reaction extravaganza. We've got a great community of, of people here. Boxing fans all over the world from America to the UK to Australia and on and on and on. So join the empire today. Hit that subscribe button. Take care and God.